Hello everyone, and welcome back to Warrior Cats, The Untold Tales, and we are back. We are back with Thimbleweed, and a plot twist to possibly end all plot twists. Something that I have known is probably going to happen for quite a long time, and something that finally happened because I rolled my random generator, aka my dice, and referred to my notes, and sure enough, the very slim chance that I had tucked into Thimbleweed's story since his birth has ended up happening and we have a big surprise for you guys now. So Thimbleweed is no longer a cat of Wind Clan. Thimbleweed is currently living the life of an exile on the edges of where Wind Clan was, on the edges of Wind Clan territory, where Wind Clan still is for the record. On the edges of Wind Clan territory, he is trying to eke out a living from amongst all of the wild creatures here, and he is working so, so hard. Now he no longer has time to be focused and obsessed with taking care of a bunch of uh, of plants. He doesn't have time to even worry about what his mother, Leaps, Leapfur, would even think about eating prey before catching stuff for the prey pile. He is desperately trying to keep a small little group of cats alive. Not just any little group of cats, and not just uh, any kind of small either. So I'm going to introduce you guys to Thimbleweed's new responsibility and explain the extremely interesting twist in the tale that has led him to being an exile of Wind Clan. And here they are. So you guys, this is the tiny little home that Thimbleweed is currently making with Spot Ridge, believe it or not, helping to raise three young kits who are secretly, secretly on the edge of Wind Clan. These three kits are actually Lightheart's kits. Lightheart ended up having children with Courage Fur, the popular cat of the clan, and in her shame she was quite worried what the clan would think about the kits that she had with Courage Fur, that she even got herself into a position where she could be having kits with a really popular like super warrior of the clan as a medicine cat, she just was so worried, and when she told Courage Fur, Courage Fur was quite worried about what the wrath of Wind Clan would do if they found out that he fathered kits with a medicine cat and so he threatened Lightheart and said that he would get rid of those kits and if the kits were gone then they would never have to worry about their secret being discovered and if Lightheart didn't get rid of the kits then he would kill them and possibly even her himself. So Lightheart was stuck between a rock and a hard place you could say because she couldn't reveal the kits because then she would lose her place as Medicine Cat and she dearly deeply loves Wind Clan and felt a lot of sorrow but then if she couldn't get courage for her to accept them, he would go out of his way to attack them anyway. And so Thimbleweed and Spot Ridge ended up stumbling in on all of this chaos and all of this drama, and Thimbleweed decided there, watching Lightheart's terror, watching how afraid she was for what she was going to do, and what was going to happen to her, what was going to happen to the kits that she immediately loved, and Thimbleweed decided that he would raise them himself. He's not strong enough, he's not popular enough, he doesn't have enough reputation to be able to take on Courage Fur and pull Courage Fur's uh, accusations down, he doesn't really want poor Lightheart to be kicked out of the clan either because she had kits and she's a medicine cat and she re he realized that he wanted to see his friend Lightheart really thrive and Spot Ridge seeing that kind of sacrifice happening and realizing that Thimbleweed would be leaving the clan as an exile to raise these kits on his own Spot Ridge just couldn't handle that and so Spot Ridge is here with Thimbleweed and these two are raising Lightheart's kits together so Spot Ridge has come with us and he's come a very long way in his friend with Thimbleweed for sure because he gave up his position in Wind Clan and he gave up being a medicine cat so that he could come and stay with Thimbleweed and try to keep everybody alive and everybody taken care of. So that's their big twist. That's their big story. Uh, it's altered itself from the idea I originally had for what Thimbleweed's future could be like when I was uh, still pondering his existence and he was still just a tiny little glint in Star Clan's eyes and it's changed a lot. I never thought Spot Ridge would end up coming with us. Um, but I really am amazed. I think that their friendship has truly grown into something very special and Spot Ridge just couldn't stay in a clan that would have elements in it that would cast out these kits. And he also was very loyal to Lightheart and didn't want to see her hurt. So he wanted to participate in hiding these little kits and making sure that they can grow up big and strong. And hopefully if they can grow into strong, wonderful warriors, then they will be able to return to the clan and Hope Kit, Brave Kit, and Joy Kit, which are their names, 
Kind of named after Courage Kit because Lightheart did love him, even if she shouldn't, and he turned out not to love her. But these three little kits, the hope is right now from Thimbleweed and Spot Ridge, they're not sure how it would happen, but one day they can at least raise the kits to be strong and healthy warriors. And if they're able to make it to warriorhood, Perhaps there's a chance to be able to go back to Wind Clan. Perhaps they could bring a prey items and they could return from exile and show up with three strong warriors that could defy courage for, that could just hide the secret of their birth, perhaps. And perhaps they'll just end up moving on to other clans, moving on into kitty pet life, or forming their own clan. That last part, probably not going to happen. Tumbleweed, or Thimbleweed, not Tumbleweed, I just always am thinking how he trips over himself, doesn't really have plans to start his own clan. This is just his little exile group raising these kits in secret. So, how's that going to work? We've got to keep these kits alive. How are we going to keep the kits alive? We're going to eat the number of prey that this little group has every day, and we need to make sure that that the kits have enough to eat every single day. We need to make sure when they become apprentices, they can go on their apprentice missions and journeys to become warriors without dying. That would be really awesome. I'm so tired of poor Apple Clan having so many of their apprentices end up dying in battle. It's just tragic. And we are going to see that they grow at a good pace. So today, let me double check the day. I know this is a lot of talking, but it's just to explain everything. Today is leaf fall six, so that means in winter six, in leaf bear six, that's when they're gonna become paws. And then they will have the opportunity to become apprentices if they survive. Next year in green leaf, they will be able to become warriors. So they'll also have to do their warrior missions and we'll have to take them up in quotation marks to mother mouth. And after that, we could try to bring all of the prey and we could try to bring all of the things back to um, Wind Clan to be able to gain access to the clan again. And then we could say that Hope Kit, Brave Kit, and Joy Kit can enter Wind Clan. And whatever happens with the story after that, who knows? Maybe Thimbleweed and Spot Ridge will end up staying and they'll end up just being exiles together but I have a feeling if they could go back with three strong warriors that they have raised in secret with them they can either just always keep the secret of these kits lineage behind them or they could confront courage for maybe Lightheart without courage for threatening the kits lives will be willing to step down as a medicine cat and then accept exile away from the clan even though I think it would break her heart to be with her kits or to let her kits have a place in the clan so we'll have to see that's I know there's some holes in that story trust me but that's kind of the basic gist of what's happening and I'm really hopeful that we'll be able to keep everybody alive and I'm just really excited to see this phase where Thimbleweed sort of tumbled immediately and deeply into quite the mess and is now raising some kits with Spot Ridge which is I think pretty pretty amusing and of course Thimbleweed still has his passion for feathers so we've still got feathers all over the place the kids can play with we've got a little pile of food that's oddly symmetrical in the weirdest ways and now these two are raising kids together so all right spot ridge because of his bad leg spends most of his time staying here with the kits and we are going to go try to gather up some more food since today is a new day we slept last night i'm going to go ahead and eat all of the rabbits and eat all of the squirrels which is going to make him really 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 stuffed but that's the only way to get rid of all all the food that the clan would have eaten and we need to go and get at least one more prey item before the day is over to make sure that everybody is kept nice and healthy and well fed and hopefully thimbleweed in his journey now to raise these kits as a secret exile mission hopefully he will still be able to collect up the plants will be able to leave items over at his grotto will be able to still leave an impact behind so hang in there little thimbleweed He's going to be able to go on a whole different kind of journey and I just love the idea of Haya and Spot Ridge raising these kits together and trying to figure out what to do with them because they're really just sort of hardly like a, they haven't even had apprentices themselves and suddenly they're raising kits together so it's a big it's a big duty. All right, so let's dash on up. As you can see, we're starting to make a little field right over here full of feverfew plants. To kind of lend uh, a little bit of credit to Wind Clan, they're not attacking us over here. So this is a pretty safe spot to rest. Yay, we've got more food. All right, so the kit should be okay. Hope Kit, Brave Kit, and Joy Kit. Joy Kit and Hope Kit are female. Brave Kit is a male. Spot Ridge is just keeping an eye on all of the kits and trying to keep them safe. And then other than that, we're also trying to train the kits and teach them 
Um, so each day we'll try to go out and bring some new things over and we'll do the same thing with herb lore that we used to do in the past. If we start taking them out on missions, if we start bringing them with us and they get hurt, we have to use one herb in exchange for a healing move. So let's see. Let's see if we can find some more herbs. We'll go this way. So yeah, this is going to be interesting. I know it's a big twist in how the story was going, but I hope you guys will enjoy it because it's something I, I just thought would be very fitting. I just knew Lightheart was a little bit too enamored with Courage Fur. I knew that Thimbleweed would never really find a romantic interest um, amongst the traditional cats back at home. And I knew that he would be there for Lightheart on a level that was even deeper than that was even deeper than Mentor and Apprentice, that he would be willing to accept exile in order to help out Lightheart. And so now we're going to see what we can end up doing with Thimbleweed as he wanders and searches through and tries to discover... Oh, there's one more. There's some more. Yay, fever flu, fever flu everywhere. As he wanders around and discovers like what Wind Clan has to offer as an exile. And I'm really excited to see the challenge Primarily, that's what this is going to be about. The challenge of trying to keep these kits alive and safe and keep them... Do, 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 and we'll add in a couple more bird feathers. I don't know. I actually, I feel like Thimbleweed, other than having enough for the kids to play with, I oddly feel like Thimbleweed wants to keep the clan, uh, or I should say their little, their little home kind of tidy. So I feel like he would actually keep the feathers mostly around the bed area. Like becoming a, a adoptive father has sort of changed his personality a little bit. And now he's really worried about making sure everything's tidy and the kids are taken care of and everything's clean. There we go. Some more herbs down there. Oh, and now it's raining and keeping them out of the rain and all sorts of things like that. And then also building up the little garden because he's really going to be quite adamant. He's so worried. The only thing he really knows how to do is work on his skills and, and use plants to help heal. So he's very adamant about keeping the garden going. So let's see. Can I not get through here? I used to be able to get through here. There we go. All right, so he'll continue to spread like a nice thick moss garden down here and gather things up. And as long as we have enough prey, that's really what I'm mostly worried about. Because every day we'll eat five pieces of prey and then have to make sure we bring that much back home. Spot Ridge, because of his leg, can't really go hunting. And then once the kits become old enough, we will always have to bring at least one of the kits with us on the missions and the journeys we go on. And we're really going to strive to try to keep the kits hidden from Wind Clan so Wind Clan doesn't show up out of the blue and start asking really awkward questions. And yes, I know the story of the kits' birth and lineage has some big holes like in Warrior Clan lore, but we're just gonna we're just gonna enjoy it and we're just gonna see because we're gonna have the challenge of trying to keep them alive by eating enough prey every day. And we're gonna have the challenge of trying to keep them alive as apprentices. And then we're gonna have the challenge of trying to re-enter Wind Clan by bringing all of the special items that we can to convince Wind Clan to accept us again. I wonder who I have to talk to in Wind Clan to do that. All right, that, no more moss off that tree. All right, and let's go look for some more plants or let's go look for some more prey. Also don't, there, Spot Ridge is still inside of the clan when you walk by it, but we're gonna pretend he's not there. All right, so let's see, we'll drink from here and then just try to keep everybody okay. And maybe Thimbleweed will end up rejoining the clan and so his generational heir would end up being one of Lightheart's kits uh, that he raised with Spot Ridge. And I think that would be very fitting. So we'll have to learn when the kits are old enough to start leaving the, uh, leaving the little hidden bush that they've gotten. We'll have to see what the kits' personalities are like and what they'll turn out to be like. Let's see, let's go ahead and maybe make, hmm, I kinda wanna make a, like a little bush right there. Yeah, and then like spread some brambles down, like so, just to make a little bush. And let's look for some food. But so far, Wind Clan is a lot less aggressive. It's like the Thimbleweed knows because we're exiled, secretly exiled. We just disappeared one day as far as Wind Clan is concerned. Um, we don't seem to be running into nearly as many like bloodthirsty cats as we do in Apple Clan with Thunder Clan, like coming in every two seconds and just killing killing Apple Clan apprentices. It's it's so alarming when they do that. All right, we're gonna keep looking for more food. Always good to stock up on food. Always good to stock up on fever few. Dun, dun, dun. Always good to stock up on feathers if we can. Oh, there's another bunny. All right, come on. Ah, oh, dang it. 
Thimbleweed, you really need to be able to hunt a little bit better. Oh, and there is a mouse. Okay. And that's when you know Thimbleweed's growing up when he's passing up carrying a feather home because he wants to make sure that there's enough food for the cats. All right, there we go. And if I really hope that this is this is an enjoyable twist to the tale for all of you. This is something I've really wanted to do for a while and I'm just really proud of Thimbleweed for growing up and trying trying life from this angle. All right, so let's see. And then who knows what kind of funny conversations he and Spot Ridge will actually get into about the proper way to raise kits together. Cause I have a feeling they're gonna have a lot of opinions on how that is done too. So, all right, we're gonna add the little mouse. I think the Bluebeed's really particular about sorting where the food goes in order. We're gonna add the little mouse over here. We're going to add in some more of the Feverfew plants so that we've got a nice little field of Feverfew growing over here. The seeds are spreading all over the place. And we're gonna go ahead and curl up and try to get some rest because Thimbleweed is experiencing quite a few interesting new emotions, interesting new challenges, trying to raise these kits, and who knows what he and Spot Ridge are saying, and who knows what they'll be able to teach the kits as they grow up. So I'm really excited to share this next chapter of Thimbleweed's story with you, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!